information <coughs> and the chief scientist has asked for motion of vote 12, which is level vote single and the other one is 14 and for Carthage equality. Neither of them um, items will be discussed tonight. They're subject to a site visit and the committee will go around and have a look at the site before they're discussed. Is road access to the 
was to arise. This is a narrow, single-track road, not designed for heavy wagons, that's already necessary for building development. It is also not suited to bin wagons and emergency vehicles. Bin wagons already have to be there, so continuing on that theme, the steep gradient, once you enter the field, is tremendous. Of course, it would be extremely dangerous for both vehicles and pedestrians in icy conditions. If accidents occur, the cans will be liable for a violent situation to happen. Water drains and sewage currently live at trees, shrubs, and the like, which provides a natural water drainage. Removal will cause flooding to the bottom of the field. This has happened in the past, even with the existing trees there. If passed, the approval party will be liable to any flooding and occurrences. The development of the Air Red of Nocturnum Dell and the new houses on Nocturnum Way have already proved a disaster with raw sewage seeping into constituents' gardens, causing the public health hazards. Recently, the council refused planning the car way in for a for 26 new property. Why? Due to the frequent flooding and concern for wildlife and trees. Removal of trees, protected trees from wildlife, including birds, foxes, fox cubs, and bats. When the developer instructed builders to work on his behalf, they bulldozed their way into their landlocked estate without planning permission. In fact, the council are in the middle of prosecuting him for illegal activity. Once in, they removed protected trees with woodpeckers nesting on them while they were being developed. Video evidence is available of this illegal activity. I have also been advised that the survey to account for wildlife activity did not account for endangered species. The developers, builders were also abusive of the Rory, Rory, you're not allowed to mention, you're not allowed to mention or consider anything else. The only thing you can consider here tonight. Well, this is about the trees getting knocked down. Well, that, that, that's completely <coughs> different. That's, there's, a, there's a legal case going on that I will already accept. Please don't mention anything yeah. to do with what, what, what happened. The only thing we can deal with is the private application that's here in front of us now. Well, right, the right to light and obstructed views. You can see for yourself that the photograph of this development would be extremely intrusive. Two of the proposed properties literally come off to my boundary fence edge. The paint outline of where one of the properties will be actually sits in my head. It goes without saying that my right to light will be compromised and we will be extremely overlooked at the top of where it is close. Many residents are elderly, frail, or vulnerable, like myself. My husband suffered a stroke 10 years ago. He will not cope with the disturbance that this will cause, and I, as his heir, and neither will I. At the council, you have a duty of care for your public the people who vote for you to be in the position that you held. In summary, I mentioned in my opening statement that the planning for this site has been refused, refused before, after, well, the number of it, it was refused on the following grounds. The council considered the site to be semi rural location. It would be cramped and overdeveloped. Any building would be intrusive. This would be harmful to the location. Established trees would be lost. There is a basic difference of view between the builder and the council as to the existing character and appearance of the area. The council considers the site to be in a semi rural location and part of the band of land which provides a visual break between two areas. In this context, they, they contest that the builders proposed would appear cracked and underdeveloped and would continue to be in keeping with the character. And that last time, all the 
Thank you very much indeed, Chair, for uh, allowing me the, the time. And first of all, can I say uh, to the planning committee, thank you very much indeed for giving us the opportunity on Tuesday to uh, attend the site visit so that everyone can get a real feel for what we're actually looking at uh, and the consequences to that site. Um, let me start by saying that, in my opinion, um, there has been, you know, as, as uh, Mr. Lambert just basically said, uh, some discussions and it was an open meeting when we had the first meeting uh, of this site. Um, but nevertheless, can I say that now we are talking here in terms of outline planning. And I just, I've got serious reservations when I think about outline planning as against, you know, full uh, planning. And I'll, and I'll go through that. I've got three main concerns from, from the site visit and I'll, and I'll raise them with you now. Um, number one, um, Maureen just quite adequately outlined 
the, the thoughts of the people who were at that time of this. And I think that you know she, she deserves um, praise for, for coming here tonight and speaking to all of us on, on the subject. But I think she actually lives in one of those bungalows, and I think if you look at them on, on the actual site map, when we were close, which is the ones at the bottom, um, she's on the left hand side, uh, bungalow, uh, looking up the site towards the hipster rise at the north end, um, as was just being pointed out. Um, the applicant is seeking approval of scale at three stories in height. And there is no flexibility within the site for the location of the dwellings to be altered, given the number of important trees on other parts of the site. The closeness of the proposed houses means that those elevations facing Wernbrook Close would need to be blank to avoid overlooking or privacy issues. You raise, and, and, and I think the concerns about uh, unacceptable impact to the character of where we close and an overbearing impact to the bungalows at the head of the coast. And that, to me, is still constitutes our policy, HS4. The note that I've given out just as, as I started was going back to 2002. And in 2002, the moratorium was taking place. That has now been lifted. So that now fails to be a reason for objection. So I'm, I just want to make that point, but I also want to make the point the residents asked me to give that uh, in for, for, for that point. My major concern, and it is a major concern, <coughs> is the drainage concerns. Um, there's just been um, Westfield House has just been completed, and that runs down the side of the dell, which is coming down the side. Um, and there was major problems <coughs> with uh, the drainage, as people have just said. Uh, United Utilities actually spent nearly two months trying to sort out the problems in that area. I'll take you back up. I'm just asking the committee to, to, to take take you back to a, a very old uh, engineer who was here at the time, a man called Ray Bott, who told us uh, in about 1994 that this area could not sustain any further development without making it a floodplain. And you know, to be honest with you, Stubbs Lane was built after that on the other side of the road to where we are now. And in Stubbs Lane, the council at this present moment in time are just trying to put right flooding problem uh, in Stubbs Lane that comes off the fields uh, from the school, Catholic Lane School, which is flooding down almost <coughs> at least 10 houses. And that's one of the problems that, that really give me a big, big concern this side. The fall off of where it is, it is and so I'm saying realistically, final and surface water solution set out by the applicants would require connection to the existing network in not so long down or Bipstow Rise. If agreement cannot be reached with properties in Wernbrook Coast to allow sewer connections over their land, now, I, I stress that point because I think it's important to think these people realistically United Utilities, I believe, and I don't know, so I'm just being very careful what I'm saying, but I believe United Utilities do have the power to go through some of that garden and take it, take the, the drainage to join up with the sewer, which would be in where we close. I, I, I'm not 100% certain on that. In this event, pipe work, a small pumping station, and uh, attenuation measures within the site would be needed, which could be problematic given the importance of containing the trees within the site. <coughs> Conditions 8 and 15 are recommended by office to secure the detail of the drainage solution. Your uh, the concerns that was the lack of information to confirm on this issue at this stage. I think it's very, very important. I'd like members to really consider when we actually do this, you, you consider what you've been asked to do tonight, to really consider that. And, and the last issue that I want to just raise with you is the concerns about the character issues. Um, the impact of the development of the Lotsgorum Ridge, um, supplementary planning guidance on the Lotsgorum Ridge, which was SBG2, <coughs> seeks to ensure that all new development is compatible with the character of existing property and safeguards as many features as possible to retain the high environmental quality of the area. 
Uh, once the officers are satisfied that the scale and the location of the toy, the pole safeguards, those features, uh, the, I feel that the development will impact the character and environmental quality of the village. Um, and that is conscious of policy interest for an associated SDG2. So with that chair, uh, I would ask you seriously consider this site. And, and I suppose I'm basically saying you can only get one chance to speak. But I personally believe it should be reduced. But if it does go ahead, I do believe that the three points that I've just made on one, two, and three, um, the, the, about the home laws, the drainage concerns, and the character issues, there needs to be something.